Did you know that the arapaima fish, one of the largest freshwater fish in the world, can grow up to 10 feet in length and weigh up to 400 pounds? The Amazon rainforest is a place full of incredible life forms, and one of them is the arapaima fish, also known as piraruku. This freshwater fish, native to the Amazon River Basin, has been around for millions of years and is one of the largest freshwater fishes in the world. Welcome to our channel Wild Biosphere. In this video, we will explore some amazing facts about the arapaima fish, from its habitat to its eating and sleeping routines, reproduction and development, and lifespan. It is found in the Amazon River Basin, which includes several countries such as Brazil, Peru, and Colombia. It prefers calm waters such as lakes, flooded forests, and slow-moving rivers. During the rainy season, the arapaima fish can move to the flooded areas of the forest and feed on fruits and seeds that have fallen from trees. The arapaima, which thrives in clear and warm waters with temperatures between 24 and 37 degrees Celsius, shies away from habitats with strong currents or excessive sedimentation, preferring to inhabit calm lakes and tributary rivers. The arapaima fish is one of the world's largest freshwater fish. It can grow up to 10 feet in length and weigh up to 400 pounds. Its body is elongated and covered in scales that are grayish green or brown. The arapaima fish has a long dorsal fin and a small, almost non-existent adipose fin along the back of its body. Its head is large and can reach up to 20 inches in length. But arapaimas are not just impressive hunters, they are also unique in their physiology. One of their most fascinating features is their ability to breathe air. Yes, you heard that right. Arapaima has a specialized labyrinth organ that allows them to extract oxygen from the air, making it possible for them to survive in oxygen-poor waters during the dry season when the rivers are low. Or in easy words, we can say that, utilizing gills for underwater respiration and a modified swim bladder that functions like a lung, allowing it to breathe in air at the water's surface. The arapaima fish is a carnivorous predator that feeds on smaller fish, crustaceans, birds, and small mammals that fall into the water. Its diet consists mainly of fish, which can consume up to 10% of its body weight in a single feeding. During the daytime, the arapaima fish will rest at the bottom of the river or lake, conserving its energy until it's time to hunt for food. The arapaima fish is a long-lived species that can live up to 25 years. It reaches sexual maturity at around three, four years of age, and during the breeding season, males will make a nest in shallow waters by digging a hole in the riverbed. Females will lay up to 5,000 eggs, fertilized by the male. During the low water season, arapaima fish engage in mating rituals, with the males displaying a more intense red coloration on their flanks. In preparation for egg laying, the male arapaima cleans the riverbed and creates a round hollow in which the female lays the eggs before fertilization occurs, with the male releasing his sperm. The female stays close by throughout the incubation period, while the male circles around to ward off predators. The eggs typically hatch within eight to 10 days, beginning the arapaima fry's journey. The arapaima fish is considered a vulnerable species due to overfishing and habitat destruction. In the past, the arapaima fish was heavily hunted for its meat, considered a delicacy in the Amazon region. Nowadays, regulations are in place to control the fishing of the arapaima fish, and some conservation efforts are being made to protect its habitat. The arapaima fish is a notable species that has adapted to its environment over millions of years. Its large size, carnivorous diet, and unique reproductive behavior make it a fascinating creature to study. However, as with many species in the Amazon rainforest, the arapaima fish is threatened by human activities. We must protect its habitat and ensure its survival for future generations. And there you have it, the incredible world of arapaima, where ancient adaptations and modern day challenges collide. We hope you enjoyed this wild adventure with us. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for more thrilling wildlife encounters. Until next time, keep exploring and keep conserving.